Hey, hey, what's up everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. Well, my friends, back here with my 124 scale MOA crawler, which means motor on axle. This is from uh, hobbykink.com. It's the rock star. If you want to see that vehicle, I will link it down in the description box so you can see where you can get one of these vehicles. But I had some time over the week to uh, take the vehicle out and give it a good test run, see what its capabilities are, what it can do, what it cannot do. And uh, I originally tested this up at the Dew's Backyard RC Park located in Zingerberg, North Carolina, which is about two hours from me. And I decided to go out there because I, I, I've been out there a few times, but I've never seen this 124 crawler crush there. So I wanted to check it out. Plus, it was just a nasty day and stuff like that. So I was like, all right, I'm going to do that. Now, I had all intentions of filming out there, but then I was like, nah, I better not. This is his house. Uh, and... Uh, you know, I really have not gotten to test drive the vehicle that much other than here in the RC room. So I was like, I'll hold off until I get down to my hometown park there, which is the Ditch RC Park, and they have a 124 scale course. I was like, that's when I'll do it. But I did test it out a little bit there, and I was very blown away with it. It did a great job. Everybody loved this vehicle. Actually, a few people went ahead and ordered one while they were there, so that was crazy. But uh, it did a great job. The, I really love the four-wheel steering. It definitely makes a total difference. It's almost like it's cheating almost or something like that, I think. <laughs> but uh, it is really fun. I enjoyed it. And uh, it did a great job. But the only thing that I've noticed about this vehicle is that it definitely does need some weight. So I decided to add some brass to the vehicle. Now, the only thing about this vehicle, since this is a Hobby King exclusive product, there is no really performance upgrades that you can offer to it you might take some other 24 scale parts and maybe adapt it on there somehow or another uh, so i do want to let you know that so you have to kind of custom modify something to fit on this vehicle but i end up using the brass wheel hubs or wheel weights these little suckers right here now these are actually from an axial scx 1024 scx <laughs> SEX 24 and yeah now when I got these in it came with the hardware the cross pins and a couple of nuts to screw on and stuff but the problem I ran into is that the little cross pins the ones that goes between their axle shafts there that you know makes your hex spin was a little too short and too little thick and it wouldn't fit through the axle shaft there so I was like, well, how can I make these work on there? So what I ended up doing, and I'm going to show you all this on how to do that. But what I ended up doing is I ended up taking the stock cross pins off the vehicle and taking them and falling down just a hair bit to the point where they will fit into that little groove right there. If you guys can see that. So, so I had to do that. Now, this took me probably about 30 to 40 minutes in the process of doing this uh, that's with all four of them just sitting there kind of grinding it down a little bit to the point that it fit really nice into the uh, little slot right there so let me show you guys how to go about doing that so you'll know now I got the the wheel weights off of Amazon for roughly around $15 I think it was I think it was like $11.99 and $2 shipping I think somewhere around that era not exactly 100% sure but yeah so let me go ahead and show you how to go about doing this. Now to do this, you're gonna need a few tools. You're gonna to need a Dremlin, so you can file it down. And then you're also gonna need some vice grips to hold the pen, because you don't wanna hold it with your finger. And you also wanna have a pair of safety glasses on, which I am currently wearing right now, just to make sure you don't have anything hit you in your eye. You definitely don't want that to happen. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take one of the pens, And it's always good to have a magnet tray laying around, especially with working on this kind of stuff. All right, so we're gonna take our, our vice grips here, open them up. And we're gonna put that pin right down inside. Like so, you see, it? maybe, it's tiny. <laughs> All right, so then we're gonna take our Dremel, we're gonna turn it on, and then we're gonna grind it just a little bit 
until we, you know, until I think I know that, hey, that's all right. Let's match it up and see if it works. So let's do it. All right. All right, so we did a little bit of grinding there, so I'm gonna make sure that these are actually gonna fit now. All right. Well, if we can get the camera to focus, I know it's gonna be kind of hard. So we're gonna put it there and see if it matches up, and there we go. It is in there, looks great. So that's how you put that's how you put it in there. And of course you take it off and you put it right there and then you slide it on. Like so. Boom. Now you have wheel weights in this vehicle that has SCX24 wheel weights. Now it actually fits perfectly fine on these. So you can actually use 124 scale wheels, any type of any you know 124 scale wheels. Uh, I'm still using the stock wheels because I honestly like the stock wheels. They do really great, my friends. Uh, I was very impressed with them. They do really good on rocks, but on slippery surfaces, not so good. They do do not do so good on that. But so we're gonna put them in like that. So you see, it fits very very nice in there. Let's try to get you a a good uh, shot of it. Let's brighten it up a little bit so maybe you can guys can see that. Oh, there you go. So you see it fits in there just nicely in the stock uh, wheels there. So that's good. All right. So we're going to put them back onto the... Uh, back on there. So we're going to put it there. Spin it round to the hooks. It's hooked. And we're going to just put it on there. Like so. <laughs> I'm telling you, these little trucks are small. And if you got some fat fingers or big fingers, you're definitely going to have a time with these things. Put them on. Uh, tip number two, trying to get it on. <laughs> Try this again. Let's see if we can get it. All right, got it on. Oh, come on, stay on there. Stay on. Oh no, <laughs> I lost it again. I'm telling you, it is. It's. It's very small to deal with these things. You see, I got my tiny tools for a tiny truck, right? Think we, oh yes, we got it on there. How about that? That is good. So we All right. Screw it down a little bit more. All right, we're good. Tight. There we go. All right. So, now all you gotta do is follow that same process of you know, grinding those, <laughs> grinding the uh, the cross pins there. <laughs> so there you go. Looks very good. So definitely, definitely gives it a little bit more weight, as you can see. Definitely helps it because with the stock setup, I can set the wheel like that and it would not move. It'll stay like that the whole time. It brings it down. So just a little bit of weight does help it out, as you see. Like I said, I used to be like this. I used to be like this right here. It could stay up on its own. No issues whatsoever. And with the weight, it brings it down. So, yeah. All right, so there we go. <laughs> so.
So there you go, my friends. That's how to install the brass hubs will wait on your Rockstar 124 MOA crawler from Hobby King. Hopefully this video has helped you out on uh, installing some brass weights and really helping this vehicle out. It did a extremely awesome job. Actually, the last video that I put out on the, on the, uh, on the crawler of it running at the 124 park there had the brass weights on there. I do want to let you know that. I was going to wait until after I did that video, before I put the brass weights on there, I was going to wait after that video to put the brass weights on there. But I was like, I got a little, I got a little hesitant. I wanted like, I, I already knew what I needed to do. So I went ahead and done it. And yeah, so I just wanted to clarify that up that I did run that in that video, uh, which if you want to see that video, I will link it down in the description box and also at the end of the, this video as well. So you can see how much help it did and i should have have filmed a complete stock setup on it but i just like i said i got i, I jumped the gun and decided to go ahead and do it uh you know so yeah all right my friends so hopefully this video has helped you out if it did comment down below also smash that thumb like button and i will see y'all in the next upcoming video see y'all later